Next question is from Omar Angland, Anglin Santa Maria. What's the best way to get rid of knee pain? Every time I do a squat, it pops, and I can't do a perfect squat from the pain. This is a, an area, I would say, where my answer has changed pretty dramatically over the last seven years or so. In the past, I would say foam roll your IT band, look at the hips. That's where some of it comes from. Now I'll say look at the feet, the ankles, and then the hips. Mm -hmm. I'd say those are the three. Those are the three places, and start at the feet and ankles, yeah. and then move your way up. If you just consider the knee as a dumb joint, mm. it, it really has serves flexes one, and extends one one function. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it, yeah, it, you you really do have to kind of trace it back down to the feet, and the ankles, and the hips. But you know, really, I think that we just haven't put a lot of emphasis on the feet and the ankles and what that determines in, uh, as far as how that affects your entire kinetic chain. So it definitely plays a massive role. Well, I would actually first, because this person's saying they're in pain, it pops and prevents them from having a good squat, I would send you to the doctor. So that would be the first thing I did to potentially get an MRI because if, if they're in pain and they can't even yeah, squat it's down pretty far. Yeah. So it, there, there may be something that's, that's, you know, done to you or that you might have injured it somehow that's eliminating them. Then after I get, a, you know, the doctor telling me, Oh no, their X, Y, Z is fine. Uh, then, then we can go to work and I would go to work with Sal said, I would start with your feet and, and work the, the, the way up. And more often than not, it's going to be both, you know, foot ankle stuff related and hip, the combination of the of the two of those that's probably causing the stress uh, in the knees. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point because I mean you could have had an acute injury, like you could have had something where yeah it puts it put everything out of alignment uh, because of a torn ligament or, or whatever. You know the case was that now you, you built this different type of uh, recruitment pattern that you have to to now try to retrain. But yeah, for the most part, a lot of the the knee pain that comes from a lot of like uh, you know overuse injury. Yeah, yeah. and again, just to, to clarify, remember the ankle is super mobile, so I can you know can it can flex. <laughs> laterally it can of course forward and back there's a lot of movement in the foot the hip is super mobile the knee flexes and extends that's it so if there's an issue in those two areas yeah and that's the midpoint yeah the knee is bearing the brunt of that here's an in, here's a fun little trick by the way that you could do i used to do this with clients they would say oh my knee hurts so then i would have them i'd set up a physio ball squat so if you don't know what that is the, the ball is up against the wall you put your low back up against it, and then you move your feet away from it a little bit, and then you roll down the ball and come up, keeping your back straight. I would have them do that, and then I would put a band around their knees, and I'd say, push the band out or maintain tension while squatting. Do you still feel pain? Or I would put something in between their knees. Squeeze this, come up and down, tell me if you feel pain. And if they didn't feel pain doing one or the other, it would tell me it's because there's stress on the knee because of an imbalance in the hips right. or the ankles. If you do that little trick, and you find, wow, when I push my knees out against the band, all of a sudden my knees feel a lot better. You know it's coming from the hips or the ankles. It's not something maybe you know internally wrong with the knee. 